Okay, so they land in these this like quicksand, but they're like beans, so it's like quick beans. But where do they go? What happened to the beans? Okay. Yeah, it's like quicksand, right? It's like, yeah, like kind of liquidy. But where to go? Where to go? And like every one of them, every one of them makes it down here without any beans. I'm good. Ah, Master Fit. Yeah. This isn't the afterlife, is it? Our droids are loud. So somehow, somehow, right? They go into the quicksand or quick beans, mm -hmm. and then they are able to flow through it. Yeah. And then burst themselves through the other side without any beans flowing through as well. Right. I mean, that's I super weird. That's weird, right? Like, I imagine if they went through a hole, if the person can fit through the hole, then the beans can too. So that means there's maybe some cohesion between the beans that like holds them up. Even oh. Though there's like holes. So you're saying that like with like with the liquid, you have individual molecules zipping around, mm -hmm. but because yeah. there's some type of attraction between them, there's a cohesion, yeah. so it keeps itself as a liquid. Right. And now solids don't do that. Like beans, like if you throw a bunch of beans on the table, they spread out. But mm -hmm. you're saying that these are somehow uh, Star Wars beans. Then they like they like attract each other, so then you don't get drops falling out. They like stick together. So I guess in in real life, granular materials like this like sands and grains they do have some counterintuitive properties maybe if you had some like maybe if those beans like rub against each other all the time and create all kinds of like charge on them they create this strong cohesion in the mass of the beans Ooh, interesting uh. so like even if you like flow through it the beans want to stick together because they're all staticky but some large mass will be able to go right through Stick together and staticky, but not so strong that they become a solid, I guess. Maybe there's like a, a narrow window there where the properties are all dialed in correctly. I still think like as they flow through, they would pull a few beans with them. Yeah, like in their open pockets or something, right? Yeah, they still have, still some would come out with them, but maybe not a single, one. Able, not a single one. So this is a, a really strange granular material. Yeah, weird. Weird. Don't know what it is. Also... The fact that nobody got stuck in the beans, like they were all like forced down through the, a hole, mm -hmm. instead of somebody could again could have just fallen down into a non-hole region, and then suffocated. So somehow the beans were also able to like get through the hole, go down. Maybe like, these beans are are sentient. It's like this blob oh. is a thing, and then they all got excreted, and that's why they all made it out. And that's like why non-digestible. And that's why the beans stuck together is because each it's like it's a being it's it's wants to hold itself together oh like the like um like the hunters from halo it's like like the big guys with the laser and the shield mm -hmm. but they're at like canonically in in, in the lore that there are a bunch of worms maybe like that. And they're like worms in like humanoid form mm -hmm. so this is like these little black beans in like an agglomeration are... working mm -hmm. together that together are a sentient being and so as soon as masses come, they just expel it right through, through the holes. Okay. 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 Wow. I can get behind that. I, uh, yeah. 